That was horrible. Sorry, man. <clears throat> I'm glad no one is watching yet, I hope. Please tell me there's no view. Oh my god, there's viewers and they would have heard. Anyway. Uh, let's tweet this and get started. Tweet. Boom. Done. Into the game. My apologies for that horrible cough. I've got a uh, pretty bad flu. Anyway. Today we're going to have a look at some exploration games on itch. The first one is by Strange Think. Strange Think is one of my favourite developers. They're um, really good at creating these surreal sort of abstract alien sort of worlds where you kind of feel like you're the alien because, um, I don't know, just the way, just this sort of vibe the game puts off, I don't know. Anyway, this is an actual art gallery. So you can go in here and create paintings. And then, uh, yeah, the alien citizens will walk around and they will, like, you know, check out your paintings and stuff. They don't actually, like, tell you if they're crap or whatever, but... Still a lot of fun, I like it. So, um, I'm not sure how to clear the canvas. I forget the controls. I'm scared to press escape because I think it will actually reset the game. So you've got these different guns. Well, they're shaped like guns, but they're actually paint tools and the colors and the patterns that they make are actually procedurally generated. So that's really cool. But yeah, Strange Things games are always, they've always got this sort of peaceful, wander at your own pace, atmosphere kind of thing happening. So that's that gun, let's check out the others. There's some really cool generated patterns. turn anyone into an artist. Uh, let's show this one. Strange Thing has this amazing sense of um, colour. I, I just love the colours they always they always use in their games. Now this is nice. I like this tool. Um, I guess I should be... Uh, that's good. One second. One second. Okay, okay, do I have sound again? Yep, real good. Alright, so I think I'm going to lay down like a dark base colour. Ooh, that looks nice. That was fucking... That's attractive, that is. If I do say so myself. Let's try this one. I'd like to see a um, talented graffiti artist play this game. I think they could come up with some really amazing artworks with these tools. That one's nice. Oh, well, my, I can imagine my mouse is really loud, so I apologize for that. I'm going to have to do something about that. Not in this stream, though. I'll have to sort it out later. <laughs> I think I tried that tool. Let's try this one. Yeah, I've played this previously and um, I just get lost in the, lost in the sheer beauty of the colours that it generates. Anyway, we'll, we'll call that a, we'll call that a finished piece. And what happens is you walk out of here, uh, the room rotates, you get another blank canvas and your previous works are hung on the wall, so this is some stuff I came up with earlier. Oh, that's one we just did then, that looks quite nice. Where else am I? Where's my other pieces? Is this one over here? I like that. Kind of looks like looks like a uh, thunderstorm on some sort of alien landscape. This is one of my favourites I came up with. I really like this one. Don't know why. All right, let's do, I'm going to do another piece. Let's let's try the guns over this side, or the paint guns, whatever they are. This one's good. this one's good. So these look, these remind me of like little some sort of plant, little purple flowers on it, spiky foliage. So we'll lay down some plants. You never know what tool you get in there, so you 
you can't really get too attached to a theme or an idea for a painting because before you know it you've totally ruined it let's just maybe you can do a test spray over there okay that's gonna be streaky so I don't want anything streaky at the moment um, 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 let's try that one yeah that's good uh, let's lay the, I'm, hopefully this makes a nice cloud effect oh yeah digging that And I want to put some sort of like sunburst effect. Some... No, not that one. Jeez, uh, I've lost track of which which kinds I've tried. No, I don't want that one. Okay, I'm gonna try the green one. Nope. Maybe this one. Okay, we'll go with this one. That's pretty sweet, I like that. Just totally ruined my plant. Uh, which gun was the plant one? Was it this one? Uh, maybe that one. Yeah, there we go. I'm put some of these over the top. And we'll try this one. That's a masterpiece. Painting complete. Alright, let's get in there and make another painting. Oh, not that one. This one. There we go. Start off from the center. Yeah, I like that. So it's probably better to start with a, a darker base color. I think I lost all my viewers at the start when I did that horrible cough. Ah, <laughs> uh, them's the breaks. Oh, that's right. That's the, uh, that's my violet cactus plant paint gun. I don't really want that one. Nah, where's those streaky guns? I want some streaky guns. I guess the obvious thing to do would be to paint a penis. We could try that. We'll get a, we'll get a uh, procedurally generated alien penis happening. Oh, good choice of, good choice of paint tool. Ah, uh, well, maybe not. Well, I can use, you can use your imagination to what that bit was. Um, yeah, why not? Beautiful. Alright, I might try another game in a second. Hmm, one second, I want to... I still don't have to set up properly. Yeah, well, that is an interesting point. The proximity does sit, yeah, it does actually. The color changes depending on how far away you are. That is a great point, TRCP. Oh, it sounds like my dog's playing Mario again. So when we're back here, we get a nice bright green. And then when we come in here, we get, oh, we get an even uh, a more saturated green. That's nice, that's nice. Okay. Oh. So up close it becomes more of a, um, more of a fill tool, like a bucket tool almost. And as you get further away, you get the nice spray patterns. I love the way this stuff's coated. Could fuck around with this all day, but we'll check out something else. Let's have a look at the gallery quickly. This one I call Violet. Violet Cactuses. Violet Cactuses. This one is. 
I don't know, I like the colours though, it's pretty. That one's a bit lame. This one, yeah, it reminds me of what, I'm gonna call it Alien Aquarium. And we've seen these ones, so. Alright, cool. I like the way they just silently judge the pictures. I wonder what they're thinking. Probably, uh, probably wishing they had got a refund. Why did they pay to come into this gallery? This is the worst art they've ever seen. Humans are terrible artists. Maybe not. Maybe they're loving it. Okay, we got. We, oh, I like that. I love that uh, background scenery. Oh, what a creepy planet. Constantly moving. All right, we'll check out something else now. Um, I believe. Yeah, I'm gonna check out that blooming feeling. That looks like an interesting game. So, just give me one second. Uh, so one second. Uh, game capture. Properties. Yep, that blooming feeling. Um, there we go. That should work. Hopefully. Nice. I'm gonna get a little, have a swig of water. Now the main character in this game is actually water, so that's that's interesting already. I think. All right, let's get this show on the road. I just love how wobbly this game is. Um, you can control the arms independently, and that's about as far as I've gotten. I did. I started playing and went, wow, I've got to stream this or record it for YouTube. One of the two. So anyway, um, I believe this is like a desert landscape and we can bring life to it. I think it's spacebar. I wish this guy would stop moving. He doesn't want to stop moving, I think. So if you, if you self-destruct, you, um, you bring life to like some of these plants that have been dehydrated and probably quint really like, you know, and desperate for some water for a while. That's nice. And we respawn. It's got some some sweet little lullaby type music in the background. Oh. Um, okay, stop moving guys, stop moving. And I think I wanna I think I wanna blow my load on this guy. Yep, he seemed to like that. Oh, that plant's changed a lot. Okay. I remember when it was just a wee little tacker. Uh, what else we got? I'm not sure if, well, this rock looks like something, but I can't imagine what watering a rock's gonna do. Not a lot, probably. Not a lot. That's a bit of a fail. Go over this way. Oh, how do you think you can? There we go. Oh, you can roll. That's cute. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, so that's what the rocks are for. They're for avoiding. This is really cute. I would love to see this fleshed out into a huge title. Um, I think if you press shift, yeah, it centers the camera. Oh, what happens with this thing if we water it? Oh, look at the shadow. It's getting ridiculously big. I'm not sure if you can pan the camera up and down. I haven't really figured out a way to do that yet. So. No. Oh, there's a seed. These little sand guys, they're cute. They've got sand rabbits. On this mm, it almost looks like a fungus. But I think it's some sort of cac cacti, cactus. Oh, who's this? Boom! Wow, I like the uh, I like the character model on that lone wanderer.
This guy looks so happy, I love it. <laughs> oh, we got some seeds falling as those plants mature. I wonder how like how alive you can get this landscape to become. You might be able to get it to become an absolute thriving thriving little ecosystem. You might be able to turn the whole place green, that'd be pretty cool. It's a simple mechanic, but it's nice. Oh maybe I have to oh I know. I'm gonna go imitate the bunnies. I'm one of you guys. Oh hang on. Uh where's the other? His right arm's broken? Their left arm uh their left arm works, their right arm is now broken. So there goes my plan to imitate them. I was gonna try and put my hands above my head and maybe they'd accept me as one of them or something. Um I'm just gonna go roll around a bit with them. Maybe they'll like that. Come on guy. Oh they disappeared. I think they're back up the other end. The camera's a bit clunky. It'd be nice if you could move the camera with the mouse. That'd be really good. I want to play sand bunnies. Where have they gone? Oh, here we are. It, oh, my arm is still broken. I don't understand. Um, we're getting warning high encoding. So I'm probably dropping frames. That's good. Good to know. Like there's a lot more to see here. Oh wow, I wish I could climb those. I'm gonna water this plant. Oh no, I'm gonna water this seed. That's lovely, that is. Oh, I think it's too dry there for it to survive. It looks like it's struggling. Let's check it out. Oh no, it's still going. I thought perhaps it was too far out of the perimeter. Seems like it gets drier the further away you get from this tiny little oasis. I'm still eating high encoding, so... I don't think my nugget of a PC can really handle this. I might have to wait till I get my new PC before I make Twitch a regular thing. Um, see what happens. I'm just going to water this one more time. And uh, maybe have a quick look at something else and then... Wrap it up. Bit of a more of a technical test than anything. This stream. So I really lament the fact that I didn't I didn't put both my hands up in front of these guys when I had my arms still working. Because now that it's broken, it's just not the same. But we've already transformed this landscape into something quite nice compared to what it was when we when we first emerged from that little puddle. Bad camera view there. Yeah, it's rather pretty. Um, I'm following this developer on itch. I can't wait to see what else they come up with. They look like they've got some good ideas. Oh, and we've got a day to night cycle. Wasn't expecting that. That's cool. Maybe the sand bunnies just um, are a way of signifying how far along you've how far along you've advanced the ecosystem. Maybe the more you've improved it, the uh, more sand bunnies that spawn. Stupid name from sand bunnies. I don't know. They've probably got some really cool name that I don't know about. Um, oh, we've got little I think butterfly type things. Yeah, nice. So it seems like the more plants that exist. Uh, the more variety of, uh, oh, holy shit, I thought it was full night time then. Um, yeah, it seems like the more plants there are, the more little animals you get, so, yeah, it's a fun little peaceful way to spend time, I reckon. I like games like this when I'm a bit stressed, and I don't want to play a game which has a win condition. Um, sometimes you, you just want to avoid feeling like a loser at all costs. <laughs> anyway, we'll check out one more game, and then I'm going to wrap this up, so, I hope you enjoyed that little little exploration uh,
let's go to the next thing one sec. Uh, um, um, let's look at something really batshit crazy for the last bit. Uh, I'm not even sh well. Was that on? Okay, it seemed to be working. I'm just going to assume that this is streaming. Wow, this is colourful. I'll give it that. Oh, that's. Oh wow, I love the play on ge like geometry. Oh, holy shit! What happened then? That was fucking amazing. Okay, so this is called catacombs. Um, something or other catacombs. Um, I'm gonna put a link to these in. I'm gonna edit this video and put it up on YouTube, and I'll have a link to these games in the description. This is cool. This is another game you can just mellow out on. I want to walk into that. Yes, you can. <laughs> That's amazing. I love it. I wish I could make 3D stuff. I can barely make 2D games at the moment. Uh, one day I want to make just psychedelic, crazy exploration and stuff like this. Can I get in there? I want to get in there. It looks so like glitchy. Oh, yeah. Oh, did I get in there? I'm, I'm somewhere. So, yeah. I don't think there's any other point to this game besides just in enjoying the colors and and the abstract geometry oh that's cool I love how does that reminds me of antechamber uh, antechamber <laughs> like the poor man's antechamber or something uh, I don't want to insult the developer by saying that no, it's um it's a really cool I like it, like a little cool exploration or walking sim if you will but yeah wow so many colors This would make a good uh, a good screensaver if you if you could create an AI that it just slowly explored it. I would love this if it had like glitchy enemies, not enemies, uh, just glitchy NPCs that you can have little weird conversations with. All right, guys, or well, TRCP. It's probably only one viewer, but I'm gonna wrap it up now. I appreciate your uh, your viewership. I hope you have a great day, and I'll catch you later.